why you should not buy an Airbnb in Sunday River until you've watched this video. Sunday River is located in northwestern sector of Maine, and it's one of the most popular short-term rental destinations in all of New England. But we want to spend some time with our listeners today and give them all the tools they need to buy, operate, and manage a successful short-term rental in Sunday River. So why do you love the Sunday River market so much? So there's a couple things that I break this down into. The first one is the location. So obviously where it's located, but how you get there. It's easy to get to from large metropolitan areas, which are feeder markets. So Portland, Maine, Boston, Massachusetts, parts of Rhode Island, New York, Connecticut, all of New England. It's really easy to get to. And it also offers the best skiing experience for all different levels of skiers, beginners to advanced skiers. And then the other part is the investment in snowmaking technology that Boyne Resorts puts into the resort. So it's the most dependable snow in the Northeast. So even, even if we have a bad winter, there's actually more traffic driven to Sunday River and the investment they keep making into the market. So for all of those reasons, it's my favorite skiing destination in New England, and it's my favorite investment market because of the investment the mountain is making into the area. And the last thing I'll say is, Boyne Resorts is not a hotel developer or really a real estate developer. So they're not competing with short-term rental investors. They actually appreciate the investors giving their homes out to the market so people can come and enjoy the mountain. And for anyone that is fearful of global warming, do not fear. Because Sunday River, the market itself, which really consists of Woodstock, Bryant Pond, Bethel, and Newry, the resort itself is located in Newry, this is an amazing year-round market, okay? So you have Absolutely. Mount Washington that's only about a half hour away. You have North Conway that's 45 minutes away. Kaiser Lake that's 45, about a half hour away. And Oxford Casino less than an hour away. Portland that's not very far away. You have all these amazing areas and destinations with, within an hours long scenic drive from we'll call it Bethel is sort of the apex of everything and so what I've found is that there's really no downtime in this market so yes you have your peak of peak seasons which is the winter you have extremely extremely strong spring summer and fall seasons as well and because of that we love managing in this market, right? Five star co host. We have a handful of properties in this market in each of those towns that we just explained. And then on the consulting side, we've helped dozens and dozens of homeowners. Once they buy the house with you, Will, we get them up and running so they can enjoy a successful investment. And you do, you get guests from all over, okay? All over New England, down from Canada. It's very drivable, very friendly environment, just an amazing, amazing space for families and friends to get away to. You also wanna have views, really strong mountain views. And it's really interesting. I find Newry and Bethel have a really gorgeous mountain views available. Woodstock is actually the one town that has has both water and mountain views all in the same frame. And it's really, really neat and spectacular when you get into those homes. But I think buying a home with views is gonna be your key to success, just like being near a beach in a beach market. And it's all just about affordability too. You're not gonna be able to find views in all price points, but if you don't have views, you better make sure you're kicking things up yeah. a lot in other departments. Um, and then the other thing is, like you said, location. People that haven't been here, they always think, gosh, you need to be three, five minutes away and they compare it to a beach market. In a mountain market, people are already getting in the car. So another five minutes is not gonna really make or break a deal. But if it has an outstanding view or great amenities, they're gonna book the house. Absolutely. Let's talk about design, indoor and outdoor design. What does it take to make a home compete and become really cash flow positive? The core amenities in this market it, it's pretty simple. You need a hot tub, you need a fire pit for the summer. We're starting to see some people do some barrel saunas and maybe some jungle gyms for kids. Some of the top performing properties have outdoor pools, but it's a really basic market. The baseline amenities, like I said, hot tub, sauna, fire pit to start, that's the base. And then on the inside, clean mountain modern aesthetic. You don't need all these crazy murals. We're starting to see some really awesome design, which definitely is kicking things up a notch, but people just appreciate clean, kind of luxurious accommodations that almost remind them of a hotel. You don't need the smoky mountain bare linens, right? People are starting to go for the more classy aesthetic, but it's a very basic market 
but they're starting to become really great properties come on the market with more of that modern design. And what I love about that modern design, you know, I always say shoot for almost like a hotel style consistency when it comes to the linens, the bed sheets right. and the towels and things like that. Why? Well, to be honest, a lot of people traveled during COVID and a lot of people were let down during COVID and staying in homes that were very inconsistent. People don't want to feel like they're sleeping in your home. They want to feel like they're sleeping in a hotel level product if you want to command the highest price point. And this is how you can turn a two, three or four bedroom home into a luxury home is really with how you manage your linens and the quality of the fabric that you're using there. Let's talk about the S word, saturation. Do you feel like this market is saturated? Well, I don't think any market is saturated, right? We have bedroom counts that are saturated. And the truth is, I probably wouldn't tell you to go buy a one bedroom condo on the slope because guess what? A lot of those are rentals. But areas we focus on are the more luxury accommodations, even if that's a very small bedroom couples retreat or a four bedroom or five bedroom. I typically like to steer clear of three bedroom homes because there's a larger concentration of them. So if you buy a three bedroom, make sure there's enough room to maybe have a other sleeping space, but we haven't even reached even a close match to saturation like these other markets. There's less than 500 active listings in the entire Sunday River area, which really just shows the demand is outpacing the supply of available homes. So there's still a lot of room in the market. And then when we talk about the real estate, the builders are not building enough homes to really keep up with these demand that's out there. And these new construction homes oftentimes aren't turning into short-term rentals. So we're not even really right. close to a Smoky Mountain type of saturation. I totally agree with you. And what I'll say is based on the data within my property management company, we're actually seeing the highest grossing properties based on the price point or the highest ROI properties right now are are four bedrooms for what it's worth they're four bedrooms but they have the sleeping capacity for up to 14. so usually you want to have at least three bathrooms in there to accommodate that generally there's going to be one bedroom that is a massive bedroom that can have several bunk beds so you can have six seven kids sleep in that one room and then you have adults spread across the other bedrooms otherwise go right for that five bedroom Honestly, having a five bedroom that sleeps 15, you only have a few dozen houses that you're competing with. And it's amazing how much higher, if you use the right pricing strategy, how much higher your occupancy and revenue will be from that of your peers. I love that. And like you said, pricing strategy, that's a big part of it. You know, another topic is affordability. It's truly one of the most affordable, hot vacation markets in all of New England. If you're looking for a lakefront house or a beachfront house, your prices are going to be double, triple what you're going to find in Sunday River. And because you have the year round rentability, your income is going to be a lot higher in a market like Sunday River. For somebody who has never owned a mountain home, what are some things to consider when it comes to snow and power and all that fun stuff that we don't really hit on a ton? So don't buy the home until you get to this part of the video because I won't lie, we have high expenses here. We have high revenue that kind of outweigh that, but there is plowing there is shoveling. Yeah. You have higher utilities in the winter. If you're running a hot tub in a sauna, guess what? Your electric bill is going to be a little bit higher. You have pest control. So we do have higher expenses. You just got to make sure you budget for those and you're prepared because if you're not, you might be shocked when you get that plowing bill at the end of the winter and it's $3,000 you didn't budget. You already spent that on a, a new fire pit or, or whatnot. Yeah. So it's really, really budgeting for these expenses. And the other thing I'll say, kind of the secret is is you might actually net more money in the summer because your expenses are lower. So yeah. that's kind of a secret in the market is you're not paying for snow plowing in the summer. So you, you might not make as much gross revenue, but your net revenue might actually exceed that. Every year, the last three years, our net revenue has been higher in July and August than January and February. And it's by a very close margin. It's definitely not far and away, right? That's what we find. I'll also say that a lot of owners enjoy using their homes in the winter a bit. And so they're losing some revenue there. So that does factor into it. But summer is really your time to crank and let those longer lengths of stay bookings take form because that's how you're going to really make that money. In summary, we talked about location. We talked about design. 
And, and if anyone needs help, we have lots of different designers that we can recommend you to who have done a great, great, fantastic job in this market and have the resources to be able to do the implementation for you. We've talked about sleeping capacity. In this market, I generally say shoot for 13 to 15 in terms of sleeping in your home. If you can thoughtfully do that, you're going to be very, very, very successful in this market. We talked about some of the key amenities, right? Hot tub, mainly tubs. Shout out to them. They're fantastic with purchasing a hot tub and the install. Saunas, you can also buy that from Mainly Tub. So give them a ring. Give our boy Jordan or, or Nick a call over there. That's right. Um, and then, you know, I don't think you necessarily need a full on game room in this market, but some really, really cool things that I've seen as we wrap this up are, you know, those spaces under the stairs that go to the basement. Putting a few arcade games in there and making it black lighted out is really, really neat. There's all sorts of different ways that you can incorporate activities for kids. And you got to remember, kids are usually not old enough to necessarily go on a big long hike like a parent or an adult is. So give them something to do. It'll help keep them there longer. So you factor all these pieces in. Take a look at this video a few times, right? Make sure you, you sign up for a consultation with Will, and then we'll help you out on the revenue side, and you will definitely be set up for success. This might be one of the best mountain markets in the country, and it's for all those I reasons. Agree. It's highly investable, it's still affordable, and there's a lot of potential as the mountain continues to grow. Will, if someone wants to buy a house, how can they reach you? Yeah, hit me up on my website. You can book a free consultation. We'll talk about the markets and uh, how we can help you. I love it. I love it. And if you have any questions related to your Airbnb, whether you already own or you're thinking about buying one, just go to davemenapace.com. You can check out our consulting business from there, Launchpad Consulting. You can check out our co-hosting business right there, Five Star Co-host. We're here to help and happy hosting everyone. Have a great day.